So I have very two quick questions, so very easily. First one, when you were playing the character, after it was finished, how did that character change your life or how did it you know, make you feel life as it is better or good? And my second question is, if I were to invite you to Montreal, what type of gift do you want me to give you? Maple syrup. <laughs> you got it. Poutine. Yeah. Kitty litter. <laughs> what was the first question again? My first. Yeah. How was how was was there a lasting effect that the character had on us yes. after playing it? Um, I would say there was a very strong lasting effect um, because this was one of the first times that girls, girl power, was was, was actually um, front and center. And I remember, uh, actually it was quite not that long ago, I went to look in my garbage can, just to put the garbage away, and I noticed that there was a raccoon in the garbage can. And it uh, looked up at me, and I looked down at it, and I put the lid back on really, really fast, because I don't really like wildlife in garbage cans. And so I ran into the house, and I said, oh, come on, this is ridiculous. I said, what would Sailor Jupiter do? <laughs> so I said, I know what she'd do. She'd go and put on that skirt. So I didn't have anything quite that short, but you know what I'm saying. So I went and I got dressed appropriately, and I walked out to the backyard, and I said, Jupiter! Thunder's at! Raccoon! Out! <laughs> so I picked up the lid, and the raccoon was already gone, but you see, it was magical. <laughs> it worked! Um, I think the mere fact that we're all sitting here 20 some years later uh, is a testament to exactly how it's affected our lives. I know that, um, you know, when we did this, as, as has been said, nobody had, we had no idea what this was. We were voice actors, we got a great gig, we had tons of fun. And uh, personally, myself, I went on, I did other stuff, I did other voice work, but then I did other work as well. And it was the thing, no matter all the accomplishments and everything that I was like, oh, that's good, I've kind of done something new and different, and wow, I didn't think I could do that. If Sailor Moon came up, it was the biggest thing that I had ever done. And it continues to have that kind of lasting effect. And that to me is, is just remarkable that we're all sitting here and I'm hearing my voice echo yeah. as, I'm, <laughs> as I'm saying these words. But it, there's nothing to, to compare that to in terms of you know, when you start something that you think is just going to be one thing, and it turns into this absolutely magnificent experience. So, thank you for making that and having us here. I just wanted to add uh, that if I could have anything from Montreal, it would be William Shatner's money. <laughs> John, you know that I can't really do that. You know that, right? Peter, you and I have always been honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is going to be hard. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Taylor from California, and my question is, what was your favorite moment or episode to actually Oh, geez, sorry. I don't know.